Hello boys and girls, I hope you're ready to do some um, math work today. Today we are on lesson 7-3 and we're still working with subtraction. So open your book to page 257 and we'll get to work. Okay, on our solve and share it says, Martha is watching bugs. She sees four ladybugs together in a group. Then some crawl away. Look at the picture and decide how many are left. Use counters to show what you think happens in the story. Then write numbers to tell how many ladybugs are left in the group. Okay, so here's the group we started with, four ladybugs, right? How many are going away? You can see some of them are going away, right? How many? Two. I'm going to go ahead and circle them just so I know these are the two that are going away. So, if we have four, we can use our fingers to show this, right? If we have four and two go away, how many do we have left? Well, the answer's right here. These two that are left, right? We can show this with counters. So let's draw some counters. We start off with four ladybugs. Are you ready? Draw four counters with me. One, two, three, four. Now, how do I show that full, that there's some going away. What am I going to do? I'm going to cross them out, right? We know that two went away, so I'm going to cross out two. And how many are left? Two, that's right. Should we draw, should we write an equation to match? I think so too. So we started out with how many ladybugs. And remember, in subtraction, we are starting with the whole and taking some away. It's different from addition, right? We're starting with the parts and then getting the whole. In subtraction, we're starting with the whole and then finding the parts. So, how many were there all together to begin with? Four. Four ladybugs to start. And how many went away? Two went away. Now, how do I show? What sign do I use to show that I am taking away? I use a minus sign, right? This one right here. It means to take away. How many went away? Two. So that's the next number in our equation. Four minus two. Four take away two equals, right? We still use that equal sign to show how many are left, right? And how many are left? Two. Four take away two or four minus two equals two. Great job. Okay, let's move on to visual learning. All right, here we go. Pay attention to your screen. Look at the picture. Tell a story about what you see. Well, I see three caterpillars on a leaf. Here is one story. Three caterpillars are in the grass. One of them wiggles away. How many caterpillars are left? Look at the counters. How many counters do you see? There are three counters. What do the counters show? The, count, the counters represent the three caterpillars, right? The three caterpillars. Why is one counter moved to the side? The counter is moved to show that one caterpillar wiggled away. How many counters are left? Two are left. Three take away one is two. What does this subtraction sentence tell? It tells how many caterpillars are left when you take away one from three. There are two caterpillars left. Now, is the number of caterpillars greater than or less than the number that was there before? Why? So, if we started with three caterpillars and now there's only two left, it's asking us if the number of caterpillars is greater or less than the number was that, that was there before. Well, if you're taking away some from that first group, of course what's left is going to be less, right? So two caterpillars is, of course, less than three, right? 
the number of caterpillars is less than the number that was there before because one caterpillar wiggled away. Now you know how to tell a story about taking away. Great job! Awesome. Okay, so let's move on to our first practice page. Okay, ready? It says, listen to each story and then complete the sentence to tell how many bugs are left. On number one, right here, it says, Martha sees six bumblebees, three leaf. How many bumblebees are left? Okay, so like I said, in subtraction, we are starting with the whole. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six. We are starting with six bumblebees. How many did it say left? Three. So what do we need to do to show that in the picture? We need to cross them out, right? We're going to cross out one, two, three bees. And that shows that we are taking away three bumblebees. And how many are left? One, two, three. Three bumblebees left. Great. Okay. Number two. It says, Martha sees seven ladybugs. Two leave. How many ladybugs are left? So because it's subtraction, we're starting with the whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ladybugs, right? And we are taking away from that whole. How many are we taking away? Two. So let's cross out two of these ladybugs. One, two. We started with seven. We take away two. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. So our number sentence is seven, take away two is five. Great work. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Okay. So you need to listen to my directions, okay? Or at least listen to the stories, okay? Number three says, Emily sees six grasshoppers on the table. Okay, we're starting with the whole. The whole is how many she sees? Six, right? She sees six. Two hop away. Let's cross out two. One, two. And we'll write that in our number sentence. Six take away two is how many grasshoppers are left? One, two, three, four. Remember, if you're not sure, you can do this on your fingers as well. So we're going to hold up six fingers. We'll take away two. Is there four left? Yeah, so we can double check our answers as well that way. Okay, number four. Emily sees seven dragonflies. How many does she see? Seven. Good, let's write that, that's the whole, right? That's what we're starting with. It says three fly away. How many fly away? Three, so we need to cross out three dragonflies. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Oh, we have to write three right here, don't we? That's how many left. And there's four. So seven take away three is four. Great work. Number five. It says Emily sees eight caterpillars resting on a branch. How many does she see? Eight, that's right. Eight caterpillars resting on a branch. It says four crawl away. How many crawled away? Four. So we need to do what with four of these caterpillars? Cross them out. That's right. One, two, three, four. And we'll write it in our number sentence. Eight take away four is how many are left? One, two, three, four. That's right. Four. Awesome work. Number six, it says. Ants can move material much bigger than themselves. Emily sees 10 ants on a picnic blanket. How many does she see on a picnic blanket? She sees 10. That's a lot of ants. 
four walk away. So how many of these 10 ants walked away? Four. So we're going to cross out one, two, three, four. Good. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six left. Our six goes here, right? That's how many are left. How many were taken away? Four. Good job. So 10 take away four is six. Awesome job. Let's go on to the next page. Okay. Again, you're going to be listening to my stories, okay? We'll do them together, and then on number 10, I'll help you. So let's listen to number seven. It says, Jerome sees eight snails on the sidewalk. Three slink away. How many snails are left? Well, first he sees eight snails. How many go away? Three. One, two, three. Let's write that in our number sentence. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five. So eight take away three is five. Good job. All right. Number eight says, Jerome seem, sees six grasshoppers in the grass. Three hop away. How many grasshoppers are left? How many did he see in the grass altogether? He saw six, right? That was our whole. That's how many he saw at first altogether. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many hopped away? Three hopped away. So we'll cross out one, two, three, and put that in our number sentence. Six take away three is how many are left? One, two, three. Okay, very good. Six take away three is three. Awesome work. Number nine. Jerome sees nine butterflies in the garden. Four flutter away. How many butterflies are left? So how many butterflies did he see in the garden to start? He saw nine. So that's our number we're starting with. That's the whole. Four flutter away. So let's cross out four. One, two, three, four. And let's put that in our number sentence. Nine take away four is, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Nine take away four is five. Great job. Okay, number 10. I need you to listen to the story and then you're going to draw a picture to show it, okay? So instead of, of there already being pictures drawn for you, you're going to do it. Now, don't worry too much about how your drawings look. You can use um, counters if you wish, if you don't want to draw the actual bugs, okay? It says, Jerome sees seven inchworms on a tree. Four crawl away. How many inchworms are left? Okay, so of course we're starting with the hole, right? How many inchworms did he see to begin with? He saw seven. So we're going to draw seven. You can draw worms. I'm going to use counters. It's easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let me write that in my number sentence. We are starting with seven. It says, Jerome sees seven inchworms on a tree. Four crawl away. How many crawl away? Four. That's the next number in our number sentence. Seven take away four. And to show that on my picture, I need to cross out four. One, two, three, Four. How many inchworms are left? One, two, three. Three inchworms left. So our number sentence says seven take away four is three. Great work today. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? But you did awesome. Thanks for working so hard. I can't wait to see you next week. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.